Hello and welcome to this video wherein now we are standing at a stage where we are not left with more than one month towards CAT. Every student is thinking about how can he score better, how can he improvise and hit those dream B schools. In this scenario, let us talk about how to crack quantitative aptitude section of CAT. When one month is going on, what should be the preparation plan, what should be the strategy and how best can I score in the quant section is what the purpose of this video is. So let's begin. First of all, let's get the basics right. CAT has 100 questions and quantitative aptitude section which is having 34 questions is being given 1 hour. So again getting the basic right, we need to understand what all does CAT asks in this quant section. So what you need to remember is that since last 7-10 years they have been following a standard pattern of the topics that they have been asking. Although there is no specific syllabus that the CAT has given but still we can understand that it is basically divided amongst the 5 different sections. Let's have a look at this table. So these 5 sections that we are talking about are arithmetic, algebra, advanced mathematics and geometry. As you can see in the table arithmetic comprises about numbers, percentage, profit and loss, SICI, proportionality, time speed distance, mixture allegation, average partnership and all. Algebra on the contrary comprises about linear and quadratic equations, search indices functions. Advanced mathematics will be PNC probability. Geometry comprises of the whole geometry which probably includes some uh, coordinate geometry and basic trigonometry also. The number of expected questions that we have seen as far as trend is being concerned is ranging from 13 to 15 for arithmetic and 6 to 8 for algebra, 4 to 6 for advanced mathematics and 6 to 9 for geometry. While this table is a simple sample of last few years and the questions being asked on different topics, students should be prepared if there is a small tweaking of the number of questions of his favorite topic. Moving on, if you talk about the difficulty level, again since last couple of years, yes CAT has been asking questions on quant which are generally of a moderate difficulty level but students should not go with that premonition and at that point of time we should be having adaptability enough to understand that if there is a difficult question coming up or there are a set of difficult questions there then probably CAT has increased the difficulty level. So don't get panicked at that point of time. So while students should not go with the premonition of difficulty level, one should also understand that CAT is not about how much a student knows in the mathematics or the quant section but it is how much can you apply at that point of time within time constraints. So here are my simple 5 steps or 5 mantras I must say which I think students should apply when you have 1 month to go so that preparation is done at the right side. So here is the mantra 1. Don't leave any topic unsolved. What do I mean when I say that? A lot of students will be planning to leave topics that they don't like. Topics like PNC, probability, surge indices, logarithms are generally not the favorites of students and what do they do is they leave the topic completely. What happens is when you take a CAT exam you would find that 10 to 15 questions are on the easier side and it completely depends on which topics those easier questions comes upon. If suppose they come on the topic which you have left then that would be a dent on the preparation. So remember don't leave a topic unsolved. At least practice on the easier side of the questions if not the difficult ones for sure. Mantra 2 is work upon the short methods and study in groups. Why do we say that? Do you know that if you can solve a question without pen or if you can use the options and solve the question it can happen very quickly for you and if you know all these techniques this shall bring a lot of confidence in the solving of the paper. If at least 3 or 4 of such questions can be solved without the pen or with the options it can increase the speed and build up the confidence also. Make sure that if you study in groups then learn those tricks and trades from your friends and apply them in the actual test. Mantra 3 is really important and that is to build stamina. We all know that CAT is a 3 hours paper. First hour you will have verbal ability, second hour you will have DI and LR and after 120 minutes you will probably be starting with the quant section. So it is imperative that when you study at your home, you should study at least for 3 to 4 hours at a stretch so that on the day you may be having that endurance to stay along and give your best when the quant section comes. 
Mantra number four is develop testing skills. My friends, this is very easier said than done. You need to have taken a lot of mock tests, solve a lot of questions to identify these testing skills. What do I mean when I say testing skills is exactly two things. First, you need to know which section or which question in that section do you like. So do you like algebra? Do you like arithmetic? Do you like geometry? Those questions should be picked up first and should be done quickly. And second thing that testing skills talks about is can you do the questions fast? So both of these comes with a lot of practice. So at least 20 to 25 mock tests should be taken before you go for the D-Day on the CAT. Mantra 5 is mental calculation. A lot of you may have a feeling that calculator is being provided by CAT. Now, yes it is provided, but you need to know that it's an online calculator and multiplication division of decimals or of normal numbers also can sometimes be very very tedious. At that point of time, to save time, to be quick, mental calculation does come for rescue a lot of times. You may waste a lot of time in doing the questions online. So a basic practice of tables, fractions, subtraction, addition, multiplication should be done in good amount before you go for the cat. So these five mantras of practicing all the chapters, studying in groups and making sure that you learn a lot of short tricks from the groups, building stamina, learning test taking skills and the fifth is practicing more of mental calculation. So at last my friends, all I would want to advise is when we are one month away from CAT, be aggressive, keep solving and most importantly, don't lose hope because probably you are just one step away from your dream B school. All the best. Thank you.